now on Nightside, the price for heating your homes going up tonight. Tips to keep those costs low. Rain has arrived in the inland northwest. I'll tell you who's going to need rain gear when you wake up tomorrow. And look out pass is set to double in size. The new trails and upgrades coming opening this season. You're watching 4 News Now Nightside. Well, the rain we've talked about all week, it's finally here. Good evening. I'm Aaron Luna. And I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Meteorologist Matt Gray is in for Chris Crocker tonight. And Matt, how much rain are we talking about here? Likely the most in many areas that we have seen in a long time. It has been a pretty dry August. In fact, a record dry August. And uh, it's going to be nice to see a little bit of rain as we get ready to start the first day of fall tomorrow. Over the past four hours, we've seen some rain move through Pullman, Moscow, across the Palouse, and it has worked its way in the 10 o'clock hour into Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. This particular band of rain started to fade out a little bit as it approached Interstate 90. And so only light sprinkles in downtown Spokane outside of our studios uh, that I checked here before we went on air. But hey, you know, we'll take it. It's good enough. At least it's a start. You can see still light sprinkles basically all the way up and down the urban corridor here as we now get past 11 o'clock. So we'll continue to see sprinkles here over the next 30, 40 minutes. Our rain chances drop down just a little bit over the next couple of hours as we go in between rain bands and then jump back up as we head into the early hours of the morning. Early risers and commuters in the morning. Rain chance is pretty good. So you want to have that rain jacket or umbrella with you because you are probably going to need it. Temperatures down into the 50s tonight, cloudy skies and that scattered rain sticking around with us at least for a little while longer. I'll show you when the sun comes out again and talk about who's going to get left out of the rain coming up. Matt, thank you. And as we start to see some cooler temperatures in the coming weeks, you can expect to see your heating bill start to climb. Well, tonight, a new report estimates that families across the country will pay about 17% more this winter just to heat their homes. The good news is people in the Northwest won't be shelling out nearly as much as the national average. If you use electric heating in Washington, you can expect a slight increase, about 1%, depending on how much you use during the winter. Natural gas is where it gets more expensive. Customers who use an average of 67 therms per month should expect a 12% increase in their bill, which is averaging out to around $82 per month. Older houses can be challenging because of the different heating sources. So um, electricity and natural gas and oil, they all, they all heat differently. So really understanding what some of those costs are is important for you. Avista shared with us a number of helpful tips to keep these costs down this winter. You can see those and this full story on our website, kxly.com. What started as a cooling tent during the summer has now turned into what Camp Hope organizers are calling an access tent. And no matter what the tent's being used for, the city of Spokane says it has to come down. It wants it gone by tomorrow. And this isn't the first time the city has tried to get this tent removed. Camp Hope sits on Washington State Department of Transportation land. And this summer, the city asked the Department of Transportation to remove the tent. It said that it would be inhumane. And now the Spokane Fire Department has ordered Jules helping hands to take down the tent, but the head of the organization says she won't do it either. The fire marshal says Jules helping hands doesn't have a permit for the tent. A permit can't be given out because there is no one leasing the property to make that permit enforceable. The issue is still the same, regardless of whether they applied or not, the issue is still the same. The issue is there needs to be someone to assume liability, and that's either the property owner, in this case, Washington State Department of Transportation, or a third party lease and neither of those is in place and, and to date nobody has been able to assume responsibility for it therefore it cannot be permitted. If Jules Helping Hands does not take down the structure by tomorrow, the fire department says the company will be fined $536 every day the tent stays up. If the fines are not paid, the city may take Jules to court. 4 News Now was the first to tell you today that there's now a void in the department designated to lead Spokane through the housing and homeless crisis. That is Spokane's Neighborhood Housing and Human Services Department is resigning after less than three months on the job. John Hall was appointed to the job in late June, filling an opening that had been there for more than a year. He told the city he's taken a new job on the East Coast. Hall replaced a man who accused the city manager of treating him poorly because of his race, but an investigation did not support those claims. Hall's departure comes as the city is trying to work with the state on how to clear Camp Hope. 
The encampment of more than 600 people in East Spokane. Hall was also leading the efforts to open the new shelter on East Trent. It took the city about a year to fill his post. City Council President Brian Beggs told 4 News Now, quote, he is extremely knowledgeable, very talented, and there is now a huge hole to fill. Well, 4 News Now broke this story today. You can read more in depth about the background of this position. It's a top story right now on KXLY.com. Well, take a look at your screen. This man is the man that Spokane police say that they're looking for after they say he is scamming people and going by the name of Crypto Mike. Detectives say he convinces people that he can invest their money in cryptocurrency, but when he gets their cash, he takes off. And they don't even know what his real name is, but they say he has a theft warrant out of California. If you believe he scammed you or if you have tips on where he is tonight, call Crime Check. And it was completely unexpected. I mean, we had plans that we'd been making for Memorial Day weekend to visit my mom. And it was just, yeah. A losing a loved one is hard. And for young kids, the pain they feel from loss can be overwhelming. Starting next month, a new organization, Rise Northwest, is launching bereavement resources for families in Spokane to teach children how to deal with their loss. The organization provides free, non-clinical services and hosts workshops for kids. And parents learn the best way to talk with their kids about their feelings. I didn't know how to communicate my grief in a way that wasn't too heavy for her. Um, I tried to just have the best communication I could, but it's hard to know if you're doing the right thing as a parent anyways. And when it comes to something as heavy as this, I think it poses extra challenges that you can't otherwise prepare for. Well, the group is currently looking for volunteers to work with kids in the program and it expects to keep growing. Deputies are still asking for your help to find a missing couple out of Moses Lake last seen in Spokane. New phone data shows the couple's signal was last pinged in a remote part of Lincoln County. Take a look at your screen here. The Grant County Sheriff's Office says Teresa and Charles Bergman were last seen at the Spokane International Airport early Sunday morning. Charles was picking Teresa up from the airport and the Sheriff's Office says they received a tip that Charles was last seen at home on Sunday afternoon, but detectives found that that was false. Detectives searched the remote area of Lincoln County where their signal pinged, but they have not found the couple. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Grant County Sheriff's Office at 509-762-1160. The Washington State Cougars are off to a 3-0 start this season, which is a start many outside of the team didn't see coming. Well, if they want to make it four wins and take control of the Pac-12, they have to get by an Oregon team that's looked pretty impressive in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Alex Crescenti has more on how the team is gearing up for yet another big game. It's still early on in the season, but the Washington State Cougars have one of the best defenses in all the country. However, they're going to be going up against an Oregon offense that's averaging more than 50 points a game the last couple of weeks. And while that team may not have names like DeAnthony Thomas or Marcus Mariota, they're still a force to be reckoned with. Oregon's talented. Okay, they got a bunch of four and five star athletes running around. Like I think everyone realizes the challenge that Oregon presents. Um, there's there's limited information with the new coaching staff, and and that's a lot of this league. You know, so we've done a good job. We've we've looked at last year's Georgia tape for defense. We look at last year's Florida State tape for offense, but it isn't about all that, right? And I've, I've talked to our guys about it a million times. It's about us, okay? What are, what's our focus level? I mean, they'll they'll give us a ton of things, offense, defense, special teams that we haven't seen. So you got to really rely back to your rules and your principles and your fundamentals, and you got to look that man in the mirror and you got to be ready to play your best, give your best effort. They got some good athletes. Um, they got Bo Nix, um, good quarterback. He got a good O-line too, so it's count, it's, we got good players on, on, on our, our side of the ball too, so it comes down to, to just sticking to your job and, and do your, your assignment and execute well. They're fast, long, and physical, that's for sure, so the defense is just fast, run sideline to sideline. They got the second level is really fast and big and physical, and then the corners, the safeties, they're all taller than usual DBs, but they're all great athletes, so it'll be a great matchup. While these two teams have had some pretty close battles the last few years, the Cougs actually haven't won since 2018 when Gardner Minshew was in at quarterback, so Washington State looking to end a bit of a drought in this rivalry. Reporting in Pullman, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports.
The Cougars and Ducks will kick off from Martin Stadium at 1 on Saturday afternoon. Coach Dickert also added this morning that less than 500 tickets remain for the game. I bet by now it's less than that. It's probably a lot <laughs> less than that. $1.34 billion lottery ticket now claimed. Meet the winners, plural, and what took them so long to come forward. Plus, Lookout Pass gets new upgrades just in time for the season. We get a first look at what you can expect. And the former president is being sued by the New York Attorney General. The details next. We will be right back. Watch tonight and I'll tell you my secret. My dad just wants me to jump off of buildings. He actually asked me why my career is not like Bruce Willis. <laughs> like, you know, John, uh, all these artistic movies that you are doing, I'm not uh, quite interested in them. <laughs> Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. Beat the fall rush and get 15% off. Call Spokane Rain Gutter today. I'm Mark Peterson. This summer, the extreme team at Horizon Credit Union ready to take on the next task. If you know of a project that needs an extreme team makeover, go to KXOI.com to nominate it. 4 News Now extreme team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. My husband has diabetes. Even with health insurance, we're having a hard time affording our medications. Thankfully, we have Patty Murray fighting for us in the U.S. Senate. She kept at it till Congress finally lowered the cost of prescription drugs. And capped insulin for seniors at $35 a month. Now we'll save thousands every year. We know when Patty is back in the other Washington. She is working for us. I'm Patty Murray, and I approve this message. It's like the Avengers have arrived. <laughs> I'm here to have some fun. The buzziest late show on Hollywood Boulevard. Jimmy Kimmel Live. Is there anything he won't brag about? Oh, life, how we admire you. Are deeply fascinated by you. All your twists and turns and wild rides you take us on. The ups and the downs. Life, you live inside all of us. Breathing, growing, beating. You are the reason we'll always provide world class health care. Providence, we see the life in you. Imagine a world where your dreams can become reality, where you can leave your worries at the gate and find new adventures waiting inside. A place where you can conquer fears and slay monsters. Where you can discover the joy of being a kid again with your prince and princess. Now imagine that you don't have to imagine this place anymore. Silverwood, where imagination meets reality. September 24th and 25th is the last weekend of the Silverwood season. For the best price on tickets, go to silverwoodthemepark.com. 4 News Now is brought to you by Finley Downtown Toyota. Thanks for staying up with us. Former President Donald Trump now facing new legal fallout. New York Attorney General Letitia James filing a civil lawsuit. She's accusing Mr. Trump, three of his children and business partners of fraud allegations, saying he and his team overvalued his assets and deceived lenders. New on Nightside, Morgan Norwood has reaction on the lawsuit. Former President Donald Trump now at the center of yet another legal battle in a $250 million civil lawsuit. New York Attorney General Letitia James accusing Trump, three of his children and his top executives of quote, staggering fraud, saying Trump grossly inflated his net worth by billions of dollars. Claiming you have money that you do not have does not amount to the art of the deal. It's the art of the steal. In her 220-page lawsuit, James accuses Trump of preparing hundreds of fraudulent financial statements, overstating the value of nearly every major property he owns. She offered examples, including um, former President Trump's own apartment in Trump Tower having been inflated in size, Mar-a-Lago also having had its evaluation uh, inflated. James also cites a $160 million loan that Trump got after claiming this building, 40 Wall Street, was worth more than $700 million dollars when actuality James says it was worth less than a third of that noting that a regular person could never get away with something like this it is a tale of two justice systems one for everyday working people and one for the elite in a statement the Trump organization calling the suit unethical political harassment and an abhorrent abuse of power Donald Trump has denied wrongdoing calling the investigation a witch hunt the Attorney General wants the Trumps to pay up 
$250 million. She's also asking a judge to bar the former president and three of his eldest children from ever running a business in New York again. This is a civil case, but James says she's also made criminal referrals to the IRS and to federal prosecutors in New York. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles. Tonight, the U.S. House passed a bill designed to prevent another insurrection. The bill closes the loopholes that led to the insurrection in the first place. It reforms the Electoral Count Act and does a number of things like clarifying who are the state's electors, who can object to electors, and what is the vice president's role after votes are cast and announced. The sponsors of the legislation believe it will help ensure peaceful transitions of power. We have breaking news tonight. One person is dead following a motorcycle accident. It happened on Euclid Avenue and Nelson Street. Only one driver was involved. Spokane Police Department tells us that area is blocked off right now and major crimes is investigating. The state of Florida is asking the Supreme Court to make a ruling on its controversial social media law. The law allows political candidates to sue social media platforms if they're blocked or removed for more than 14 days. Legal experts are concerned a ruling in favor of the law could force tech companies to host spam and hate speech on their platforms. The social media app TikTok is now requiring, quote, mandatory verification for political accounts based in the U.S. TikTok will not allow any political fundraising, but the changes could affect the way many of the company's millions of U.S. users engage with political content ahead of the 2022 midterm elections. TikTok was the platform of choice for one woman accusing pop star and Maroon 5 lead singer Adam Levine of having an affair. Her accusations went viral, viewed more than 22 million times. On Monday, 24-year-old social media influencer Sumner Stroh went viral after posting this video on TikTok, claiming she had a year-long relationship with the Moves Like Jagger singer, even sharing screenshots of what she says are conversations they had online. Stroh claiming that months after they stopped talking, Levine even messaged her in June, asking if he could name the third child he and his wife are expecting after her. My morals were unknowingly compromised. I was completely manipulated. Well, Levine responded to those accusations and denied rumors he had an affair while married to his wife of eight years. He didn't mention Stroh by name, but did, however, admit he, quote, crossed the line. Oh, boy. That's all I got to say about that. All right. Nice weather for tonight, especially if you like the sounds of rain pattering on the roof. Sleeping weather looks good. Temperatures will be on the milder side tonight in the 50s because of all the cloud cover. It's moving over our region. So we'll see chance for rain pretty much all night and into the morning as well. Here's that storm we've been talking about all week. It is now moving into northeast Oregon and eventually will track across Idaho and across Montana before it gets out of here by this time tomorrow. In the meantime, we got a lot of moisture that's spinning its way in our direction. If you take a bit of a uh, closer look, you can see lots of moisture over the Bitterroot Mountains straddling the Montana-Idaho border. And so all of that moisture is going to end up trying to track its way into the inland northwest, specifically down the I-90 corridor, which is what we are seeing right now, where we're getting a little bit of rain in the Silver Valley. And this is likely one of the places that could see some pretty impressive rainfall totals that is not a mountainous area. Or no I mean, many of the Idaho mountains should have a very good chance of picking up some decent rainfall, a half inch or more. I would say that that's a pretty good bet in places like Kellogg as well. Now, where we're going to have less periods of time where it's going to be rainy, that's where we'll see that drop off. And in fact, the drop off is quite dramatic as you w move into uh, eastern and central Washington. Places like Omak, Grand Coulee, Wenatchee, Moses Lake, even Ritzville. Chances aren't really all that high to see some rain. Maybe just a couple of sprinkles tonight and in the early morning. That's it. So this is really going to be kind of a near the state line situation. I'll show you here on our newest radar simulation. And this is about four in the morning. You can see that rain filling in across North Idaho. It's more scattery. I guess, as you work your way to Easter Washington. And then here's where we're expected the rainiest period, kind of six through about nine in the morning. So right in that morning commute time, right in the bus stop time, you definitely want to have the rain gear handy. As things head into the afternoon, we'll kind of see the rain begin to retreat back towards Montana. Still some wet weather around places like the Silver Valley. By the time we get into the evening, hey, the sun's going to come out at least for a little bit before sunset. So 
main thing, out at the bus stop, driving to work, keep that raincoat, anything you're doing in the afternoon, you should be a-okay because that rain will have moved on by then. Coming up, we'll show you about some very non-fall-like temperatures as we head into the first week of the fall season. Well, Matt, remember when we couldn't find toilet paper? It was also kind of hard to find hand sanitizer, but not anymore. Oh, wow. If you're looking at your screen right now, that is all hand sanitizer. And it's going to take millions of dollars and the better part of a year to recycle in New York. The NYS clean hand sanitizer has been sitting on an abandoned runway at a state facility. The saga started after the state made too much of the sanitizer at the start of the pandemic. Disappointing that, uh, that something got so out of control. On the one hand, you want to ha give them credit for proactively mm -hmm. trying to make sure that people had the ability to protect themselves. But you got to do it in an intelligent way. The initial work to remove the hand sanitizer began as recently as last week. The price tag for removal, more than $2 million. For context, the initial production cost for the hand sanitizer was at around $4.3 million. So it's going to take about 44 weeks to transport 168 trailer loads of that sanitizer to Rochester. Some more health news now. Unfortunately, women's health got worse in 2021. The medical tech company Holig Hologic, along with Gallup, is releasing a survey looking at the health of women around the world. Researchers looked at general health, preventative care, mental health, safety, and basic needs like food and shelter. They then gave country scores out of 100, with 100 being the best. For example, the U.S. got a score of 61. Countries in the top spots were Taiwan, Latvia, Austria, and Denmark. No nation scored higher than 70 in 2021. At the bottom was Afghanistan, Congo, Venezuela, all three scoring under 40. The overall global score was 53, one point lower than the previous year. Researchers largely blamed the drop on the pandemic. Still to come, the $1.34 billion jackpot in Illinois sat unclaimed for almost two months. Why there are two winners instead of one, and why the winners delayed claiming their money. Coming up, Nightside will be right back. Download the 4 News Now app today. 92.9 ZCU. BECU was created for communities like Spokane because we get what it means to be a Spokanite. We're locals who look out for our neighbors and strive to do what's right for our members. With convenient neighborhood financial centers, free ATMs, and 24-7 mobile banking, we can do what's right for you too. So join us at BECU. Get exactly what you want. Wendell Ford is ready to help you find that vehicle you've been wanting to buy. Built for you. F-150, Bronco, Bronco Sport, Explorer, Mach-E and Maverick. Here's how it works. Make a list of options you want. Wendell will work with you on financing to fit your budget. And then we will order the vehicle of your dreams or select from current inventory. Get exactly what you want. Built for you. Wendell Ford at the Y, drive for generations. These doors are closed because it's too dangerous to ask employees to work here anymore. Think about that. For decades, Patty Murray has spearheaded reckless policies that lead to shortages, inflation, and so much crime that you can't even get a cup of coffee from the hometown shop on Capitol Hill, even if you could still afford it. 30 years in the Senate, and this is what she has to show for it? If she won't do the job, I will. I'm Tiffany Smiley, and I approve this message. 4 News Now welcomes Kirsten O'Connor. You expect more from local news. Important information that makes a difference to you. Kirsten O'Connor delivers. And that's what we mean when we say expect more. Get to know Kirsten weeknights on 4 News Now. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Cal Superstore in Airway Heights. Well, it is going to be a little bit rainy as we start our day. The rain already moving in tonight. We are going to dry out pretty quickly, though, as I showed you in our last segment. 
as we head into the weekend, much nicer conditions and conditions that aren't really going to feel all that much like fall. I don't know that you're going to notice much of a difference between the upcoming weekend and what we just had for the last few days of summer. We'll definitely notice that difference tomorrow, especially in the morning. Keep the rain gear handy through about lunchtime. In the afternoon, we'll see those clouds gradually fade away. Should be a fairly nice day with temperatures a little bit cooler than what they've been around here recently. We did get up to like 77 today, so it was a little bit warm. And we'll have a mild night tonight. One of the milder ones we'll have for at least the next few days. 52 for Spokane and Coeur d'Alene tonight. A lot of spots down into the 40s. Still some places like Colville will crop down to the 30s at least briefly. Then our high temperatures for around the metro, upper 60s, mid 60s in places like St. Mary's, Silver Valley, got to struggle to hit 60 degrees with all the clouds and the rain. You head further west where we're not seeing basically any wet weather at all tomorrow and we get into the 80s pretty easily. And we'll keep things on the cooler side for a couple of days. And then as we head into the weekend, things start to head back the opposite direction. High pressure going to take back over our weather. And that means we're back to warm conditions. Now remember our average high at this point in the year is right around 70, 71 degrees. So we're going to go way above that as we get into the back end of the weekend and through the beginning of the week. And it looks like even beyond seven days, it is going to be a fairly warm end and dry end as well to the month of September. So this is really our only opportunity for us to get a little bit of rain. As we transition into the fall season, who is ready for cooler temperatures. All right, I had to do it. I had to do it. This outtake uh, that didn't make Wildlife Wednesday earlier. I want to thank uh, Nora Jen for taking these great owl pictures of this great horned owl. He's ready, or she. They're ready for fall. Wow, those eyes, piercing. Staring into your soul. Really? I love it. Well, let's take it from one bird to a bird's eye view. Oh, I see what you did there. Thanks to our producer, Rania. She wrote that. <laughs> this is a lookout pass and the beloved winter destination getting a big upgrade this year. We're showing you a sneak peek of what's in store this winter. Lookout pass is nearly doubling in size. That's just wild to think about. That's a huge amount of, yeah. you know, just space to cover. The project's been in the works for almost 10 years and the vision's finally coming to life. Nestor Bauer takes us to the pass and shows us what's new. I'm standing on Eagle's Peak. This is now the highest point at Lookout Pass. Finishing touches are going on this lift, which is almost ready to lift skiers to new heights. These bulldozers are paving the way for big changes. They're adding 14 new trails and 500 acres to Lookout's landscape. The team knows people are searching for more challenging ski runs in the Silver Valley. Winter enthusiasts will get that and much more when this is finished. Well, to me, I think it'll be an awesome opportunity to take in the views. The views are incredible. On a clear day, you can see mountain peaks for miles and take in beauty of three states all at once. Lookout knows this investment will draw even more people to Idaho. They're putting in the finishing touches on over 1,600 feet of vertical, a new state-of-the-art four-person lift, and a winter experience for the whole family. And depending on how early winter rolls around, the team here is hoping to have these new trails and ski lift ready for you by mid-December. Reporting from Lookout Pass, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by BECU, supporting partners with families. Okay, Sharks, we're live in 3, 2, 1. Friday, the live premiere kicks off a new season of new guest sharks. I love it! New products. I don't think we've ever had that in 14 seasons. And new deals. You're going to really take off. Beyond your wildest dreams. Big, 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 big things are coming. Yeah! The Shark Tank live season premiere event. Friday on ABC and stream on Hulu. The idea of owning a home was a really big dream of mine. It felt kind of like a pipe dream. When I think of a mortgage advisor, I think of someone who is stuffy, not approachable or friendly. But then we went to BECU and I met Lauren. She was like, this is what we're going to do. This is how you make it happen. This is how you buy a home. And it wasn't scary or overwhelming. Watching my daughter grow up in a home that we own is amazing. My mortgage advisor changed my life and my family's life. Some days your body is a temple, and some days the temple wants sugar. 
you might relieve stress naturally on Monday and plan for it on Tuesday. Because being human isn't always so fries or salad. Sometimes it's both. So relax with essential oils or a glass of cap. I'll sleep with melatonin and wake up to caffeine. With traditional medicine and alternative remedies, there's no wrong way to treat life at Rite Aid. And now get your flu shot with easy scheduling, fast appointments, plus walk-ins available daily. The Inland Empire 6. Six local Honda dealerships dedicated to putting your keister in a Honda. And your keister will thank you for it because it'll be riding in comfort, style, and America's most fuel-efficient full-line automaker. And that can save your keister at the gas pumps. Not to mention every Honda is packed with high-tech safety features that keep all your little keisters safe and happy. See your local Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Inland Northwest. Got a scenario for you. Uh huh. $1.34 billion. You have the winning ticket. How long do you take to claim it? Well, it, the initial shock would have to wear off, right? That you would have take to about triple check, quadruple check, have a friend check that the <laughs> ticket is actually legit. Phone then a friend. You, then you tell that friend they can't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah, because then people are going to be calling you. All the people are going to be calling you. I don't know. It probably wouldn't take very long, maybe a couple of days. Well, this couple, they did it just before time ran out. There's two winners of the $1.3 billion Mega Millions jackpot. They finally came forward. It's weird. Yeah, the jackpot is the third largest of all time in U.S. history. The one ticket was purchased by, purchased by two people. They agreed to split the prize if they won. I prefer the lump sum, which is um, a little over $780 million. Thank you for that, sir. The winners have apparently spent the past few weeks working with legal and financial advisors to support the claim process. I think that is extremely smart. Yeah, they really, you know, do their due diligence. It's like, yeah, but who sleeps with the ticket until they turn it in? I don't know. Just get your money. Get your money and go buy an island somewhere. <laughs> we'll be right back after the break. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. I met Anitas 10 years ago. He didn't have bad credit, but he just had no credit to begin with. I took the time to really go over some options with him. Fast forward 10 years down the road, he's got his business account with Numerica. I mean, he's looking to buy a second home also with New America. Come home to flooring for the whole family at Great Floors. Elevate your space with beautiful flooring for the whole family, including the furry ones. Great Floors offers a large selection of Shaw Pet Perfect flooring with exclusive discounts. Shop carpet, laminate, and hardwood at Great Floors. Ask about exclusive Great Floors 12-month financing options. Visit a showroom today and live life on great floors. Biden and the Democrats printed trillions we don't have. The D.C. way. They spend, we pay. Gas and groceries are crushing family budgets. Kathy McMorris Rogers says, no way. Kathy's fighting every day to cut spending and get American energy back online. Lowering gas prices and securing energy independence from Russia and China. Fighting to hold Biden accountable. Kathy McMorris Rogers, our voice. I'm Kathy McMorris Rogers, and I approve this message. Whitworth's Health Science program is expanding in a big way. And now's the time to make plans to advance your career by joining us in one of our emerging advanced degree programs. Our 38,000 square foot health science building will house simulation labs and classrooms that resemble actual clinical environments and allow for interprofessional collaboration. Everything you need to take the next steps in your career and help people live better lives. Learn more today. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. All right, had some sprinkles so far. I think we'll Just end up few, with a little bit of rain here by the morning. A few sprinkles. Sprinkles. I enough. enjoy that pitter patter on the rooftop while trying to sleep. Enough to ruin your car wash. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's, been it's a like a noise recently. machine. It's a great sound. Have a nice sleep. <laughs>